Okay, this video is just a little bit different. I bought these bottles on Amazon the other day. I had seen this lady and she does these purses and it uses a tip like this and she does dot painting on them. And she's in another country and it's a different language and I couldn't read it. And I tried translating and it made no sense to me. So I found these on Amazon and I thought, okay, I'm going to give this a go and see if I could do anything with these bottles. And I still want to try and figure out what kind of paint that was that she used because she bought them in a bottle. They came like this with a dispenser tip like this. But I thought, well, these can be nice. You can outline with them or you can dot with them because she just made her different size dots by the squeezing of the paint. So I got to thinking and I wanted to do some raised dots and so I added some, I bought some of this gel. I've got this heavy gloss gel and I've got this matte gel. And I tried the matte gel first and all I did was mix like half and half paint and half of this gel. And I filled these bottles and I tried dotting with them to see if they come out raised. And they do come a little bit raised, but it wasn't very much. That's why I bought that heavy gel to try and I haven't tried it yet. But these are kind of nice because you can, let's see if I, I don't know how I'm going to get it so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. you can just squeeze I haven't had them upside down and just by the time you how much you squeeze out I got air bubbles going now I had these sitting upside down before I, I mixed them and I filled them and I left them sit upside down for a couple days and then I used them and there was no air bubbles so just so you know if you try this but they make pretty good dots. See, this I had an air bubble in it, but this one didn't. No, I'm just making a mess. Um, but I just thought it would be another way of creating dots. And I'm going to try, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try and do this circle just by squeezing it out. And see how that goes. I'm getting some air bubbles. But I think if it sits upside down, you'll probably be okay. And it's kind of sloppy looking. But like I said, this came out a lot better when I had it sitting upside down. I wish I would have done that before I started this video. But this has got that matte gel in it. And let me tell you, if you're going to try and do this and make more raised dots, it's a pain in the butt to fill these containers when you thicken the paint. Yeah, let's see. It comes with this. These little funnels like this. And it's so thick that I had to take something and keep going like this in there to get it to drop in there and no joke to fill one was like you know a 30 minute process and that so then I thought well let's see how this works if I just put paint directly in it I didn't open my paint bottle yet and try squeezing it out with that instead of putting the thickening agent in it Because I was trying to do that blob painting is what I was trying to achieve when I bought these. And it just did not turn out. They cracked. And I read somewhere, well, I'm watching YouTubes and that, that they use um, that pouring agent in there. And I haven't tried that yet. But um, maybe that's what I'm missing. So I'm just going to go directly like this and put paint in this bottle and see if I can 
do it without making a huge mess. Because I just want to try and see if maybe I'm going to shake this paint first. Because I just bought it and I haven't used it. Let me shake it up a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can just squeeze it in there. Oh, that's going to make a mess. I can see that already. All right, I'm going to have to use the funnel. See, well, this will show you a little something if you buy these bottles. The funnel is necessary. Clean up my mess a little bit. I just thought if I line that up, it, it wouldn't be as bad. Now I'm going to have the same problem with this funnel that I was having. And it just takes forever to go through that. Now, I don't know what to do with it to get it to go faster. I was just taking a popsicle stick and putting it in there. I just want to get enough paint in here so I could try it out and show you. So I'll be right back because you're not going to want to watch me bang away at this. <laughs> okay, I'm back. What I ended up doing was just hovering this over the top of the bottle like that and filling it that way because that funnel was just taking way too long. And I got a full bottle now. But I'm going to find that lady on Instagram and put it in my description so you guys can go look and see what I'm talking about and what she does and I just thought that this would be a nice way to try and do some dot painting for those that don't have a lot of tools you could just I'd seen these on the Michaels website but they didn't have any in stock by me and when I was at Hobby Lobby the other day they did have these in stock And I wonder, with my resin, I pop bob bubbles. I don't know what the acrylic paint might be flammable. Let's see if this works. Yep. It's kind of drying it out, though. I don't know if that's advisable or not. I would just leave your paint set for a couple days. I'd fill your bottles and leave your paint set a couple days upside down. And if you want to put some of that thickening agent in, they seem to hold shape better. But I'm just going to try a little pattern here and see. Just for the heck of it. I get air bubbles though, so I don't know. You're really going to have to let it set. Because that's not coming out too good. Let's try again. The difference in the paint was really incredible when I left it sit for a couple of days. There was no air bubbles in it. And I did notice that with that lady. I watched quite a bit of her stuff. And her paints, when she stores them, are always stored this way. So, it must keep the air bubbles out better. But, I mean, it really makes this all ran together because I got it too close. But, these make nice dots. And you can make it like a really big one. 
if you just hold it. into the center and just keep squirting it out. I'm having air bubble issues. I might have to redo this video on another day and show you better. You can even hear it. Let's see. And this is just this doesn't have any thickening agents in, but I see bubbles like crazy in that. And I've seen people blow out bubbles with straws. I don't have a straw, though. So that might work. It's not working when I just blow it. But there's bubbles in there. And see, I've been letting these other ones sit upside down for a little bit. Let's see if that's any better. I just throw, thought I'd throw this idea out there for somebody who wanted to try something a little bit different. Or that wanted to try and outline something. I also thought that maybe it would work for swoops better. Let's see. This one's been upside down for a little bit. Let's try and make a swoop with this. Let's see if I can do it. That lady does, it's hard to see. In, I'm um, holding it up to the camera. I'm going to try and do it while it's sitting down. I don't have the best lighting in here today either. She does a lot of that where she'll do... Let me do a few dots if I can see what I'm doing. She'll do like um, three dots and then she'll pull them. Okay, so like I got three dots there. And then she'll just go like this. And it makes a really nice effect. And see, I don't have much luck when I do with my stylus and stuff. I'll do one over here. Oh, that's way too big. Okay, I'm going to put a dot. See, that's huge, too. That paint's way loose. But people just go like this. And some of those are dry because I did them a while ago. And mine just don't turn out that great. I just am not having much luck with it. So, like this dot here I just did. But they go like that, and... I seem to have better luck. I like that smooth look like that over what I'm getting here. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just going to take some of this. Oof. Clumsy today. All right, so if I take some of this paint here, like I'm just going to use it like I'm dabbing into my palette. And then I like that. And swoop. See, that's not so bad. And I got a stylus here. And 
that's just all practice. I mean, I do this all the time where I just have a sheet like this and I sit here and I play around and work on my swoops and that. But I thought that these jars might be another, or bottles, whatever you want to call them, might be another alternative. And I really would like to figure out what that paint is that she's using because she's doing it on like leather purses and stuff. If my lighting was better, I'd be able to see this. But it's just a matter of pressure with this. And you can do patterns just with this little bottle. And I also think that it would be easier on rocks, too, because if you don't have a smooth surface, this is just a matter of, like, kind of dripping the paint out onto the surface rather than actually touching it. And you can get all different size dots just by how much you squeeze out. And then, of course, tracing something. Let's see if I can do... They're just... Making a random... And like anything else, I'm sure... This will just take practice getting your... Tension right for how much you're squeezing out. But I figured that's another way to just do like teeny tiny dots if you want teeny tiny dots. Or if you're like me, and you know, sometimes my spacing, here's the one I did yesterday. You know, sometimes the spacing isn't the same in amongst things. So like, let me get something pointy. So like say I want to put dots in these little spots that are open and some might be bigger than the other and you can really regulate how much paint's coming out if you use something like this and you know just do a teeny tiny dot like that and then the other ones you could do a little bit bigger if you need to depending on how much space you have. But I don't, you might need to thin this down just a little bit if you're going to do a lot of outlining with it. I was trying to make it thicker. I'm going to use this. Well, that's been the other way. Let's add this green one sitting upside down for a while. Let's try this and see if that comes out better. See, that green has the thickening agent in it. Just that matte gel. And I don't know if you can even tell, but it's a little bit more raised than like that yellow. The problem I was having with just the matte gel in there wasn't that it really wasn't raising, but it was cracking. And that and it wasn't a smooth dot like I was hoping for. But this one doesn't have the air bubbles in it like the other one did because they had it sitting upside down. But I just thought that that would be another option for those that want to give it a go is these little bottles. And I'll put a link in the description for this and I'll put a link in the description for that lady and where I got the idea of trying to do this so you all can check it out. And I hope you found that informative and you can do something with it. If you do, I would love to see what you do. So feel free to link me in the description. Have a good day. See you guys later.